so hatha yoga practice not given by the patanjali but given by the nath gurus and the texts of hatha yoga hatha yoga text contains kriyas asanas pranayama vandanas mudras and kundalini these are all the parts of the hatha yoga to keep oneself completely fit have already learned couple of kriyas kriyas asana pranayama mudra vandana and the last last aspect is not yet covered because that deals with the mind that deals with the meditation in the third module we are going to cover typical asanas having practiced module 1 and 2 now you are ready to practice module 3 module 3 contains methodology based on vargas so this tradition of vargas is typical tradition that comes from the kapala kurantaka yoga tradition the traditions which have kept the hatha yoga practices intact for a long time these practices are existing but the texts are missing few texts texts are available but few texts are missing so this class classification of the vargas is based on the movement of energy in chakras the chakras are called plexus in those days our internal systems of the body entire body is comprised of the seven systems often referred in old days as chakras chakras muladhar excretory system swadhisthan reproductive and urinary system manipur digestive system and respective digestive organs glands that support the digestive system anahat respiratory and circulatory system vishuddhi autonomous nervous system agnya pineal and pituitary gland and sah central nervous system sahasra to keep oneself completely fit all the systems have to be healthy to clean all the systems we have hatha yoga practices asanas are based on working from gross centers of these systems to the subtle centers of these systems the gross center like an excretory system which contains solid element then you have a liquid element in your urinary and reproductive system which is referred as swadhisthan manipur fire element and air and air element you are respiratory and circulatory in anahat and vishuddhi space element so for one cell to keep one cell fit all these elements have to be balanced the energy movement has to be precisely from solid element to the space element one cannot work in a reverse order like from space element to the solid element the order in which we do asanas in third module is based on the energy movement from gross centers to the subtle centers from solid element to space element this order sequence of asanas is the most important aspect of traditional yoga if you practice in this order or in the sequence then you will be able to make a quick then quick progress and you will achieve the total fitness that is aimed in achieving hatha yoga by practicing typical hatha yoga standing the basic vargas are divided on standing postures sit then comes it is sitting postures then comes prawn postures and then supine postures and then inverted postures 
this is a broad classification in the modern language our asanas are based on these vargas so that it culminates the entire yoga practice so this order is very important how many postures you do in each varga it depends on availability of the time and the level of practice you have if you are already advanced practitioner so you can just go on doing all advanced postures in each varga group so it could take only 30 minutes but this entire module is about one and a half hour time because it is based on based on from module 1 module 2 when you are preparing for module 3 in the beginning you may require to choose the postures in each varga based on your progress but precisely you can limit your practice to 45 minutes to 1 hour not beyond that whatever are repeated in module 1 and 2 are not repeated in module 3 it doesn't mean that you should not practice module 1 and 2 all those practices like pranayamas essentially will have to be practiced from module 1 and 2 so this is module 3 which gives you enormous strength enormous suppleness enormous stamina and if you practice module 3 you are 100% completely